Hi, today we're gonna take a look at how to add mixed numbers, whole numbers and fractions. Before getting into it, we need to remember that a mixed number, like this one, is the sum of a whole number and a proper fraction. Also, a proper fraction is a fraction where the numerator, the top number, is less than the denominator, the bottom number. For example, 140 is a proper fraction, given that the numerator 1 is less than the denominator 4. Nice! Are you ready for the example? In the first example, we need to add 9 plus 5 and 1 fourth plus 2 thirds. To find the sum, first we add the whole numbers, and the whole numbers are 9 and 5. Come over here, 9 plus 5 equals 14. 14, that is correct. Then we put 14 in the answer, perfect. We have the sum of the whole numbers, it's time to add the fractions. In this problem, the fractions are 1 fourth and 2 thirds. 1 fourth is the fractional part of the mixed number. 1 fourth and also 2 thirds. 2 thirds. As you can see, these two fractions have different denominators. And there are several methods to add fractions with unlike denominators. However, I love to use the cross multiplication method or the butterfly. In this method, we start by multiplying the denominators. And 4 times 3 give us 12. 12. Then we are going to cross multiply. On this side we have 1 times 3. And 1 times 3 give us 3. Then comes the plus sign. On the other side we have 4 times 2. And 4 times 2 give us 8. 8. 3 plus 8 is 11. And then the denominator stays the same. 12 come over here. Finally we add 11 12 to 14 holes. So we put 11 twelves next to 14 holes. In that way, 9 plus 5 and 1 fourth plus 2 thirds give us 14 and 11 twelves. Let's move on to the last example. In this problem, we need to add 2 plus 4 and 1 half plus 4 fifths. You already know the steps. First, we add the whole numbers, and the whole numbers are 2 and 4. So 2 plus 4 give us 6. Next, we put 6 in the answer. It's time to add the fractions. In this problem, the fractions are 1 half, that is correct. 1 half is the fractional part of our mixed number. And also 4 fifths. Come over here, 1 half plus 4 fifths. As you can see, these two fractions have different denominators. So once again, we're going to use the butterfly method. In this method, we we'll start by multiplying the denominators. And 2 times 5 is 10. Then we need to cross multiply. On this side we have 1 times 5 and 1 times 5 equals 5. Then comes the plus sign. On the other side we have 2 times 4 and that gives us 8. Now 5 plus 8 equals 13 and the denominator stays the same. 10 come over here. The sum of the fractions is 13 tenths. At this point we should remember the improper fractions. An improper fraction is a fraction where the numerator, the top number, is greater than or equal to the denominator, the bottom number. 13 tenths is an improper fraction, given that the numerator 13 is greater than the denominator 10. And since we don't want an improper fraction in the final answer, we need to convert this improper fraction to a mixed number. Are you ready? Pay attention to the following question. How many times does 10 go into 13? How many times does 10 go into 13? Well, 10 goes into 13 one time. Next, we multiply. 1 times 10 is 10. To get 13, we need to add 3. Once again, 1 times 10 is 10. To get 13, we need to add 3. And then the denominator stays the same. The sum of the fractions is 1 and 3 tenths. So finally, we add 1 and 3 tenths to 6. So we put over here plus 1 and 3 tenths, 3 tenths. And here we have the sum of a whole number and a mixed number. Don't worry, we just need to follow the same steps we have seen in this video. First, we add the whole numbers and 6 plus 1 give us 7, 7. Is that correct? 6 plus 1 equals 7. Yeah, it's perfect. And finally, we add the fractions. However, we only have one fraction in this part of the problem. And that fraction is 3 tenths, 3 tenths, that's it. In that way, 2 plus 4 and 1 half plus 4 fifths give us 7 and 3 tenths. That's all for today. If you want to learn more about mixed numbers or fractions, check out that playlist. And here you have another video. Have a good one and see you next lesson. Bye!